Hello Internet, Adopted Mike here, and it was recently requested that I give a little more information on this Asa Tech cooler, and the question at hand is how long the hoses are. So, I decided rather than typing out an explanation, it might just be better to show. So if we take the ruler here, and we go right to the radiator, and then extend this tight, we get about 16, about 16 inches is where we get with this. Now, usable bending, so what I mean by that is, obviously it doesn't bend right here, so it starts to bend about here an inch away and then you got to uh, account for the cutout of the graphics card so you have probably losing I would guess you're losing uh, two inches let's call it let's call it an inch and a half there and an inch there so you're losing two and a half inches out of that 16 in what is actually um, bendable Okay, so now I also have a couple of systems that I have these installed in um, that I haven't sold yet. So uh, I'll jump to the installation in, in uh, two of the systems that I have these in on uh, GTX 580s. The first system I have here, this is a GTX 580, and this is a similar system, although it's not the same as the one I just had on video. Uh, this uses the more rigid tubing. So here is the uh, GPU and water block. Like I said, it's similar, but it's not the same. The pump is actually located here uh, on the fan assembly rather than on the uh, graphics card. But you can see here how it runs up and behind and then out of the 120 millimeter uh, fan exhaust. And here is a look, uh, this case is a Corsair Carbide 200R. Here is a look with a GTX 580 with a cooling system installed. And then it uh, venting out the back in a pull configuration there. Um, and actually you could see it would fit on the top no problem except it actually, uh, it, it, it's a little too thick here. So it does hit, it does hit the RAM a bit. So depending on the case it could go on top there's plenty of uh, length in the tubing there even if you were to I suppose you could have another 580 or another graphics card in that second slot as well too and then you could run one exhausting there and one exhausting on top if your case would allow um, it, there's definitely plenty of length in the hoses there so this is a pretty good example as well too in a uh, full size well this is probably a a mid yeah it's probably a mid size ATX tower is what I would call it the the 200R but uh, yeah anyway hopefully this helps everybody out um, in fact that retrospect I should have put this in the original video but a question was asked so I figured what better way to do it than to put it on video so anyway guys thanks for watching